Safety. Before we get into this morning's update, I want to go over a quick overview of what's transpiring so far for XRP on this Tuesday morning. First, XRP came down to about the 593 level, which we talked about yesterday, where we had to validate the breakout of the descending channel. So this would be the first layer that you could hold at 593 and then use that as a new layer of support to confirm the breakout. We've done that within the last 24 hours from when I did that update yesterday morning. It looked like the most logical conclusion to see if we are still in fact gonna try to have a bullish reversal or if we're gonna get rejected and start pushing our way back down towards that 52 to 54 cent area. But right now we bounce off the 593 and I'm gonna show you what needs to happen in order for XRP to continue the bullish narrative or if we're gonna end up breaking down and what you can expect and see where you would get a signal to break down and where exactly we can anticipate it. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Please make sure to hit that like button as it will greatly help push this beautiful community through the algorithm and allow more of you to meet some of the people within it. Please share this far and wide on social media as we can have a more active discussion. As you can see, I'm sitting out in the middle of the rain. It's a pretty cold day, but I wanted to do this update outside because I think it brings value in being out outdoors. So please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Please, positivity over negativity. We don't play the victim. We play the winner and we are the light. We are not darkness. We are the light surrounded by a world full of darkness. So we're going to try to keep each other on the right track. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know about XRP after the intro. Please hit that like button. Good morning, 11.13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as we can see, XRP overnight, looks like we're putting in a hammer candle here if we could pull back up. I know we didn't make a new high, but if we can pull back up to like that 6.2 level, maybe 61 and a half, actually about 61 and a half, now about 6.08. All right, so pull up above 61, 61 and a half, and you could have a bullish hammer here. XRP came down, and like we talked about yesterday, I said it was going to be a, a quick movement. We either were going to get stopped at 593, or we were going to have to continue moving down, and that could bring us all the way down to 52 cents. You really don't want to lose 593. That would be a nice area for a double bottom, and it would allow you to stay on top of that descending channel. And that's why it was a great move to target yesterday. That's why we talked about it, and it actually hit exactly where we targeted. Now we have to see, do we get a rejection here in the four hourly and does the daily give way? And then all of a sudden we find ourselves down here at 586 and then ultimately down to that 52.4 level possibly. If we fall back within that channel, it's going to be a pretty nice drop. But as of right now in the daily time frame, we can see we held the 593 drop area. And now we need to see, is this the first step of a reversal on this pattern or are we going to start having a nice reversal here? So it's very hard to dictate exactly what's going to happen. While you're on the outside of the descending channel, you can always say that we're working on a bullish reversal. That's why we're on the outside of it, not staying within. But if you fall back below this 593, it would, it would lead a lot of credence into the fact that will that 584 hold? We won't know. So remember, if it loses that level up here, we can say we're probably going to end up down here for destiny and see how it ends up at 584. So that's basically how it looks. But if you break below here and you end up at 584, you're breaking this new swing low. You're breaking in what could be an inverted head and shoulders forming right now and an inverted right arm. I know it came down pretty far, but you can't get rid of the fact that this could be an inversion starting here, a nice inverted pattern. And if it does pull back up, then you could clearly see how this would play out. It's just a matter of, do we have enough steam to play this out? And I'm not so sure we do. Conversely, I'm not so sure how much strength we have to just break down all in one motion but if it did pull back up you'd probably be able to see something like that in the formation but if it did break down let's just say this is, gives way you do something like i mean you could see yourself down here in a very quick swift motion so it is really today what's going to happen what's more likely do we break down that 593 support and ultimately give way at 584 or are we going to start pushing up now in that daily candle this is the start 
in this four hourly we have to we have a lot that we could try to do we could try to close this four hour candle over 607 and try to show that we're showing some kind of positive momentum and then when it comes to bitcoin we're down 522 points down under 37,000. bitcoin came down basically like xrp did um but it looks like a reversal candy here for candle here for bitcoin and if that's the case we could be targeting that 34,500. and if we do that is that a testament that xrp is going to go up or is that going to follow what bitcoin's doing so right now in the four hourly the most important thing is is are we going to get rejected here at 37,000? if so you could seriously see us coming down to about 34,500 with bitcoin and then real quickly the xrp market cap down 440 million or 1.34 percent to 32.46 billion we're still well below that 33.15. In order for us to not continue this death cross, we have to stay on top of 32.5 and continue pushing up. If you see us rejected at 32.5, next on tap is 30.89 billion. And that very well could lead us down to that 52, 54 cent area. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this, please make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel as it would be a great honor if we get to 19,000 by uh, Thanksgiving. We're at 18,970 so we're 30 away roughly before this thanksgiving so if you're watching my content please hit that subscribe button if you want to do something special for me as i will be here on thanksgiving and i'll be here all through the holidays like i always am make sure you join tom's army to pay it forward as i don't do any paid promotions advertisements or sponsorships of any kind i don't charge you for any of my content and i allow you to build a portfolio with me for free you can also send a youtube super chat if you feel inclined or look in the video description below you're looking to trade xrp there's multiple ways in the video description below different exchanges that i use and i'd appreciate if you clicked on those to help support this channel make sure that you take care of each other because the way we treat each other is seriously the biggest indictment on humanity stay blessed everybody and don't forget to give thanks to your lord and savior jesus christ